Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! All right, welcome to Ouch My Wallet. It's a part of the TF Talk Network. It's a weekly -ish show where we go over um you know what recent hauls we've got lately and try not to go down too many rabbit holes but we'll definitely go down some and it's always fun um uh, i'm your host rob and with me today is jack hola everybody i don't know what spanish is for everybody so excuse my <laughs> Toto <happy> spanish <laughs> paul hello it's me that guy <laughs> and a <laughs> returning old cast member amber Hi, hi. Very happy to have back on the show. All right. So nice to meet you. For the very first nice time. to meet you for the first time this evening. Like, actually, uh, same. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were on TFYLP? Uh, 2011, I think. Like, oh, end yeah. of 2011. I was like, just before I had a really big move to move back to California. Um, that was that, and then life just kind of took off, and I did everything. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That was a long time ago. That was a much different yeah, it was. show. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to relearning it and to learning the, the rest of the cast and to get to know people who listen and yeah, share my time. experience. You know, be the other woman on the team. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. So, uh... <laughs> As the uh, newcomer, would you like to kick us off tonight? What have you gotten recently getting back into the game? Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first. I recently got back into Transformers, I want to say, I want to say maybe three weeks ago. Um, something hit me in the, in the back of the head, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to give robots another go because I haven't been here in a while, and I really miss the toys, and I really miss my friends. And it was a, a TFCon. Canada when like all of my friends on Twitter were talking about it so I'm like this I miss this I miss everything about this I miss the toys I miss being around a central uh, uh, group mentality of these are amazing so yeah I, I came back here so I've I've been here for like three weeks kind of caught up um, a little okay. bit I recently uh, uh, recently listened or while wow, listened I recently watched <sighs> Cyberverse, I watched through all of R.I.D., so I kind of caught up on there. I fell out of Transformers right before, like, directly after R.I.D. started. Okay. So, like, I missed about five years in that window. I'm kind of trying to catch up, but, uh, uh, so for my current stuff, the, the cards have been out forever. The TCG's been out for quite a while now, and... I'm not really big on the TCG, but I'm really interested to try figuring them out. So um, I ended I'm up kind purchasing of the, the uh, Metroplex card set. That's a huge card. Um, it's a huge card. I didn't know yeah. they were going to be this big. I didn't, I didn't think this was a playing card. I thought this was just like a piece of art that was in the box and whatever. Like, nope, that's a card. I'm like, wow, <laughs> how do I play with this? <laughs> so I haven't yet figured out how to play it. I've kind of gone over the rules a little bit i'm not a really big uh card game player so the, they don't really interest me too terribly much but i'm definitely interested in now that i have this set uh i also saw the blaster versus Soundwave set at my local store and was gonna pick that up but it had like an 80 dollar price tag on it I so i went we can get you a hookup cheaper than that from a friend we have so San, oh, okay. San Diego, it, it, it came out in San Diego. That's why it's so expensive. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm like, what the? Yeah, it's, I'm in San Diego. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a brand new set because I didn't see it there the last time I was there. And I know, so, I think a lot of collectors like to collect the cards, but they mm -hmm. they have no interest in playing. They just yeah, yeah. The cards, they like the art. 
Yeah, I'm I've got almost to that point. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm I'm watching. Uh, I watch a lot of people on Twitter that talk about it and play it constantly, and I'm like, I don't understand any of this, but the cards look super cool and the characters are really interesting. So, I'm at least interested in getting the Skywarp cards. Um, if anything, if anybody listening or watching browses my Twitter for any tiny length of time, you'll hear me screaming a lot about. Transformers Prime Breakdown and Skywarp. I don't care what iteration of Skywarp it is. Skywarp is my jam. So why do, you, why do you like Skywarp? Because he's stupid and he's like really powerful, and it's one of my favorite things that he's super super powerful and uh, could probably beat Megatron if he wanted to, but he's not uh, properly. He, he like he doesn't have the proper drive to do it, and he needs somebody to direct him to like to to basically you know direct his power. Otherwise, he's lost and he does. Well, fuck all else. I don't know. <laughs> so, so do you collect? You collect pretty much everything Skywarp. Specifically Skywarp. I have a very large collection of mostly Skywarp. It's mostly Skywarp and animated Lockdown right now. Is my uh, collection. Um, most of my collection. Again, I've been out of Transformers for five years, so most of my collection is still tucked away in storage. Um, I recently rifled through all of my boxes because I needed to see my Prime toys again. So I have my entire Prime Decepticon toys out. Um, see, my entire. You don't realize this, but right now you're speaking to Paul's heart on all levels. <laughs> um, he's about to invite you to the character collection Facebook page group thing because uh, he loves seeing character collections. And then you just said everything's in bins, and he's a follower <laughs> of the Great Ben and a prophet of the Great Ben. I want to um, join this specific character group. <laughs> Anyone my main join. my main dude is Thundercracker, so I Oh my god, we're the we're the threesome here right here. This is great. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's Starscream. That's that's his bag. There you go. That's too funny. Sky, yeah. Skywarp is hands down my favorite. And it's um Alternative Skywarp I think is my favorite. He can he so can pretty. twist Yeah, and he can Alternative Skywarp is my favorite cuz he can like twist dimensions and 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 throw dimensions at people and, and concentrate them on one point. But he's, like, super powerful, but he's, like, ditzy as hell. So <laughs> yeah. so he really interests me in that, right, in that regard. So, like, a lot of my collection is black and purple and silver. So, Well, I specifically was asking because um, depending on how crazy you mm. are, one of the rarest Skywarp toys, uh, I have a line on one right now. Mm. It's the Ooh. Mexican, the IGA. Sky G one Skywarp, yeah, which has the okay. purple nose cone. That's why it's like somewhat notable because some of those Mexican toys had some uh, color variations that were quite unique. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah. And that one, I've always been like, oh, that's a really cool Skywarp toy because it it actually had the purple nose cone, and it's. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the guns might be. I know at least the nose cone is purple, and it, it's notable, but it's probably very expensive. Yeah, guy. I was gonna say, how much is that gonna hurt me? It's prob. I mean, I don't know. At least, yeah, because yeah. I think it's sealed. It's like a it's oh, no. MISB, <laughs> which is very rare for IGA. Oh wow! So, anyways, yeah, okay. If you're if you're in that nut house level of stuff, you know, let me know. I could I could connect you with the right person. So <laughs> I am I am definitely interested, but for the time being, I will politely decline. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely something that's that's been on my list that I've been staring at, and okay. it's kind of one of those like holy grail items, I suppose. Yeah, so, I mean, you, yeah. you, you I would you find one loose that's like oh yeah reasonable. But uh, th I this thing, I bought a star screen from this guy, and he was like, "Do you want the sky warp?" And I was like, "No, but it's cool." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll give you that. That's that's neat. So, um, in terms of. Of what I have recently purchased, since we can get back on that train for two seconds. Um, surprise, surprise, the very first toy I purchased when I came back was a Skywarp toy. <laughs> so, um, I picked up, uh, I believe this is the R.I.D. Skywarp, if I remember correctly when I purchased. Yep. Yeah, so that's what I thought, is the R.I.D. Skywarp. Really decent toy. Um, I'm not personally, It's I, I'm going to harp a little bit on the... Uh, the ease of transformation because if 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 a toy doesn't leave me frustrated and wanting to throw it at the wall i don't generally care about it it's <laughs> it, it, if it doesn't have a really difficult transformation i, I kind of don't care like this this price point is a little wonky for me because it because i 
you know, I, I have most of the prime toys and I remember their scale and like this was relatively inexpensive by Amazon standards, but I mean, and also the, you know, the red, uh, red two toys, like mm -hmm. they're all simple. Like, like that line is the precursor to, I guess what's now like the cyberverse line, which yes. is, you know, even simpler. It's very yeah. much in that vein. Um, I find them a lot of them actually pretty fun toys and they have mm -hmm. a nice aesthetic. I like them better than cyberverse and that a lot of, you know, they actually transform, you know, Oh yeah. you know, but I think if you're wanting that complexity, that's more of where the, uh, I guess what's now called the siege line, but a lot of us just yes. call it the generic generations line. Generations. Right. These days. Right, right, right. And of course, and, uh, you know, masterpiece and third party and whatever. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. And I have enough Serial third party series. toys to hurt my brain. <laughs> Yeah, the studio series too. That's that's a set of toys I'm probably not going to pick up though, because that's that's movie. You can and send is... every single studio series to me. I'll take. There you it. go. There's a it's lot of them in my in my local Walmart, and they're crowding the shelves, and I don't find any siege, so you can have oh. them all. That's fine. Don't worry. There's no sky warp in studio series, so you're good. Yeah. Well, if there was, yeah. I'd have to get it, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, I I I have to I harp on him a little bit. Because he's just so simple, but at the same point, like he's a pretty solid toy. He stands up all right. He's got he's got really solid uh, ball joints, and and uh, I mean his transformation is really simple, but it's it's kind of endearing to have this be my first return to Transformers. Um, easing, I, 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 yeah, easing me in, and I and I got a taste for the line, which is nice. Um, I I definitely say that. He's a good toy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I'm yelling about a toy that's at this point five years old. So, <laughs> ish. It's I don't weird know. That I... The already <laughs> show and line is already like four or five years old. That just blows exactly. my mind. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I mean, coming back into it, I enjoyed R.I.D. quite a bit. I did end up watching through all of it like last week, and uh, I, I really like this toy. It, it's a little. A little weird coming back into it again because of the of the simplicity of it like because he doesn't have any he doesn't have a wrist joint he doesn't he has an ankle um up and down but doesn't have an ankle tilt um other than that he's pretty solid he doesn't really have a wrist uh, he doesn't have a waist joint either and and all the prime toys did so like i'm kind of coming off of this yeah this i had i've had these toys for several years now i come back to this one and i'm like okay well the price point is a little wonky for me but at the same point you know, I don't mind it. Yeah, Prime though we still, Prime Toys was the like the main toy line at the time mm -hmm. where you know they still were targeting collectors like us. Whereas, oh yeah. I guess by by Rid, you know, we were starting to get into Combiner Wars, mm -hmm. or at least they were, I guess, planning it out or something. I'd have to look at dates to get exact, but I suspect at that point when they started to really, you know, branch the lines out and make them separate more. Exactly. Yeah, and and. This is again one of those things of I'm harping on a toy that's four years old at this point, and <laughs> and I, I'm bringing a conversation back that you guys have probably already had. So you know it, it's kind of fun to to go backwards and then have this conversation with people, and and I've had this conversation on Twitter, and like a lot of my friends were, I'm so glad you're watching our ID. I'm glad you're finally getting to see this. I'm it's you're experiencing things that we did four years ago. It's Kind of to be wild. honest, uh, I build on uh, Red Two after an episode and mm -hmm. a half. I, mm. I, I couldn't take it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't watch it either. Even when the Star Scream arc happened, that looked oh, yeah. and I didn't even pay attention to it. I think I got five minutes into episode one, and I'm just <laughs> like, I can't watch this. I don't know why, but I just can't. Oh no! I I thought it was pretty endearing. I I will say I I quite enjoyed it, but I'm also extremely easy to please, and I'm also not a critic, so. You know, I'm easily entertained. I thought it was a pretty good show. Um, it has its faults. I don't think it has near as many faults as a lot of people said it did. Uh, I just felt there was, were. It just wasn't up my alley. Is yeah, yeah, I, I, I get you. was the but same. It's just not yeah, for me I mean, for whatever reason. I mean, I get it. That's basically how I felt about Cyberverse when I blew through it in three and a half hours. I'm I'm glad you watched it though, because I I've watched that, and it seems like no, I'm I'm alone. I'm on an island of people that will actually watch through Cyberverse, and mm -hmm. I think it's actually pretty good. It makes me like the. It's a bummer. The toys are so bad, but the um, <laughs> the I, I show is good. They're just not good, but the, the show uh -huh. is is good. The toys deserve to be better. It's yeah, like, Cyberverse is like five minute internet TV show, right? It is, is. Uh, the episodes are 11 minutes long. 11, okay. Oh. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I, I thought Cyberverse was a little shy. Like, I, I hesitate to harp on Cyberverse, even though I did on Twitter. I harped on it like crazy on Twitter because I thought it was, it had many, many, many terrible points. But at the same point, it, I hesitate to harp on a show that has 11 minute uh, uh, episodes because it, it just reminds me a lot of the old episodes when I was a kid. Like, I mean, SpongeBob episodes are 11 minutes long. Like, yep. so. I, I hesitate to harp on a show that has that short of a time span, but when you introduce a character for the very first time and he's relatively a well liked character, and then eight minutes kill him, eight minutes later kill him, you know, in the same episode, I'm like, Kit, what is going on with this show? Like, I'm surprised they went there. I I assumed its tone was really light hearted all the way through, without like really plots or arcs or anything. It I, I it has an it has arcs. They do have arcs uh, in the episodes, and they do. They are kind of episodic, but more or less, it, it, there is like an overarching. Like there's something happening, and just okay. like every Transformers series, it there does come to a, an end goal uh, for Cyberverse. But you know, at the, at the end of the day, it it is pretty episodic. Like it's it's just contained with within itself. But there are there is a death. I think there's just one. Okay. But he dies in such a terrible way <laughs> that I just, that it just, you know, he served his purpose and then that was it. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. I don't even remember this. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, how, uh, how quick I, it was I, come and gone. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think season two is going to be even better because I've okay. seen a few clips and um, at San Diego and uh, mm -hmm. I thought that there's some stuff that looks pretty cute and, and, and actually interesting from a mm -hmm. trans fan. And the toys seem to be, um, I don't know, getting a little bit of love, a lot more love than the first, the first uh, wave, the first right. year. Of them. Right. I mean, like I has, I don't know if we should, like, should we do? Do we do spoilers now for our ID or for Cyberverse? I Given mean, it's been a year ish. Out to my wallet, probably not. Okay, no worries. Know, That's fine. Because maybe we just, I mean, I just got <laughs> some people interested in it that want to go watch it now. This is true. I mean, I just, like, I wanted oh. to bring up a couple of points, but it was, it's like, I mean, the show irritated me, but then it had moments of, okay, I actually like this. Like, this is amazing. I can't believe we got this. You're showing us this is an amazing thing right here. And then it goes into Bumblebee's talking with the radio again. And I don't <laughs> like it. So, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, to but that us... was, I'm sorry. I tangented. No, you're fine. This, we do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. I was going to say, I'm like, this is usual. Yeah. yeah. To you. So, Paul, you want to get us back on track? Well, since we were talking there. about uh, Cyberverse, might as well, it kind of feeds into most of what I got this weekend because I was um, hunting around and I found, so I guess some of the, these aren't really out many places, but I found um, the new, like, I, it's the 1499 Shockwave. So, so this. Cute. <clears throat> These are all like a little little basic toys that have um like non yeah it's like like non sentient vehicles like get a, a t get like powered up with the all spark and become armor for each of the guys and so for shockwave he turns into that little spider thing and then he has a satellite that attaches to him which is actually more uh, relevant than some of the other characters like the Star silver helmet is weird it's throwing me. Yeah, they, I mean, they all kind of have, like, the Cyberverse, like, armor, they all have, like, these weird new faces that totally don't match what you're used to, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool because it's unique. Like, here's Starscream with the, his, his is a bulldozer that attaches to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So that it's basically just, weird. like, these, yeah, it's these little vehicles you can kind of take apart, and, you know, there's a way they're supposed to connect. And it's a, it's a pretty, the, the, um, play pattern is pretty similar, like, Skywarp and, or not Skywarp, but Jetfire and Starscream are kind of like slightly remolded from each other. Jetfire has a tank that attaches to him. And so those those guys are all the same price point, like fourteen ninety nine. but then there's a larger one. And so this is like the Optimus one, which I've, I've seen a ton of people showing off this toy. And I'll show you why. I saw photos of that today, too. It's a... Uh, it's because of the, the, the gimmick it has is kind of kind of cool. Who is it again? It's op, it's Optimus Prime, and it, this is a, a, a higher price point. This might be like twenty bucks. 
That's expensive for Cyberverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Okay, oh, here, no. we go. here we go. So here he is. Almost like he almost looks like an action master. I was he about to say. say, yeah. Yeah. He does transform. <laughs> but so if you put the armor on him and you flip the thing down. The, the, oh, ooh. that's cool. <laughs> so that you know, it acts like automorphy. And it actually works really well, and he's got these big ass guns on the side of him. So I've seen a lot of people making gifts of that and stuff, and it, it, it is it is kind of fun. I don't I don't know if all the ones at that price point do that because I got I I got Megatron as well, but he's not. I don't have him out to to look at, and he didn't have any spinny spinny madness on him. Give me deals. Yeah. So I don't know. They're they're, they're little. They're they're sort of cheap. Um, that's the same one that has that cheater in it, right? Yeah, I, I did. I got one, but I did not open that because um, I don't collect cheetor. Like all yeah. these characters, I collect, so that's why I have. I have. I don't. I don't mind buying them, even though they're kind of wonky. <laughs> cool. Do you have anything and, else you wanted to show off? <clears throat> yeah, real quick. I was lucky enough to find the new wave of Studio Series guys. Ooh. So Ooh. I have High Tower and Dropkick. And pulse too bad my Walmart. Don't you pick? Okay. I found, the, I found my these. Walmart only has, it's a shame my Walmart only has the way that had World War II Bumblebee and Barricade and Science Wipe, which is like, come on, give me something new. Despite I did need a few up out of that wave, but all yeah. the, everything's like dead around me. The shelves yeah. are empty. It's surprise. It's my Target is usually the one who gets newer stuff before Walmart, but now it's kind of flopped. I'm just like, what? Is I this the get it. I have to get it all online. That's what I've been doing for years. And honestly, I don't even mind it because I a hermit and I don't like to leave my house. But <laughs> I'm the opposite. I like to go everywhere. I, I like to actually do the hunt. I, when like I was your age, way. I did too. We used to do it all the time. Me and my wife would go out and toy hunt. It was fun, but a little well, crotchety. If you, if you want to hunt those, I found them at both Walmart and Target. Those are the basically the two options that everyone has. So yeah. you can roll the dice at either one. All right. All right, well, that's it for me. In. I'm gonna jump in real quick. Not gonna spend a lot of time on because you know again, it's this is a Transformer show. But I did get in the Hulk versus Wolverine the 80th set, and I just wanted to talk about the Hulk real quick. <laughs> if you're at all into Marvel Legends or even just into Hulk or whatever, the Hulk is awesome. It's a lot of fun, and I think a lot of it's just because. He's he's got back abs that no. articulate backwards, and so he can you know get a really wide you know grip there for smash. Wow, that that looks awesome. Yeah, mine actually has some damage in it, like where the back cut into it, and I've been debating oh, whether or not yeah. I care enough to say, "Hey, Hasbro Pulse, this is damaged. Send me another one." I haven't decided yet, but <laughs> anyway, it's awesome. It's as some of you guys know, I've recently like in the past three weeks to this big Marvel Legends deep dive for some reason. Um, and I mean, part of it's, I know why. It's because they're all of a sudden coming up with a bunch of cool crap. And so I've got a bunch of old stuff. But this has been one of my favorite pickups on that. But uh, on to Transformers. I got this in the brief window. It was online at Amazon.com. I got uh, Studio Series Long Haul. Nice. Um, Jelly. I was at, you know, happy to get it just because, you know, I'm making Devastator. For the most part, I'm ignoring Studio Series. Um, but... A devastator that, you know, is proper. That you know, the robots, the vehicles, and the combined mode that we only have with the legend scale, which I love. Um, that that ticks my boxes. Um, he looks great. You know, he's got nice a little you know paint apps and, and all that good stuff. Uh, but as far as fun, I actually find the original one better. Um, found the original one just like I mean I haven't transformed this and I don't even know how many years <laughs> and. You know, I popped it out to put it on eBay, <laughs> you know, and I was just like, <laughs> I was sitting here waiting on something, yeah. and, and I fiddled with it, and I was able to figure it out way quicker than I did the new one here. Um, even when I had the new one figured out, I wasn't sure for a while, because getting it all to tab together in truck mode is rough. It does not want to stay tabbed together. like you. And I thought maybe it was just me, so I watched a few YouTube reviewers, and they had this, they either glossed over it and didn't mention it, or if they did... They had the same issues I did. Like, I think it was a uh, Imgo started in truck and went backwards, which yeah. made me go hmm. And then Piog 
was like, I can't get it to stay, and it was the same side I had trouble with, too. Well, so. that's what I like about MGOs is that he does uh, just transform it. He'll do both going, I think, it, I think he starts off in robot, then he goes to truck, then he goes backwards, or vice versa. And that's what I tried doing for the one figure I'd like to, you know, not say until I go. I tried doing the same, but it's just like trying to watch him and trying to mimic. It's just like, ha, huh? <laughs> and I can't well, follow I, the I, instructions. I watched his... I watched his uh, Just Transforming as well for this guy, and because there's no commentary on it, it's just music. Like, you know, it just it just kind of shows it lining it up, and it's like, it's done. You, you know, and I'm like, yeah. So, but yeah, that's it for me. So he's, I know people have been having trouble finding this, but you said it finally opened up to wholesalers, right, Paul? Uh, yes. The if it, There was something weird about the, the release of Long Haul. I don't know what was going on, but... Um... It was like released in Europe first, hmm. for some reason, and it looks like it's wi- going to be decently widely available. I mean, I found a bunch of Target in Chicago, so Skig. Yeah, I they're out the, there. Uh, blasters on his arm, the little missile pods. I think that's neat. Although uh, the last one, uh, or the old one, has flip out swords, which is pretty hard to top. So, so it's good. It's not great. I still kind of like the old one better, but this one helps form Devastator. So you got to get it. Yeah, that's it for me. Take right. up, Jack, with a bunch of studio news for us, huh? Yeah. So, uh, can I start with last Saturday? Uh, or not Saturday, uh, Wednesday. I was in Minnesota for the day. Um, managed to stop at a Walmart just to look around. The only thing, they only had like five figures total for Transformers, and everything else was stocked to the brim. And so I think three of them were Siege, and the other two were Studio Series. One of them was Bumblebee Movie Prime. Which I only had already had, and then the other one was Rampage, and Ooh. this this dude is way funner than I was expecting. This dude is solid. I had uh, trouble getting used to his arms, like how you you gotta like rotate a few pieces around and yeah. stuff. I found that a little uh, complex. It was mainly like his fingers and all that stuff, but yeah. once I got it figured out, I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of solid. So I'm like, yeah, that's. A rather bitchin' figure. I mean, I wouldn't have minded it in the uh, toy color yellow, but eh. So well, this, is, I, this is about cartoon or show accuracy. For patience. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I finally found a buddy to go along with Scrap Metal. Um, scrap Metal was awesome. That toy was yes. fun. I played and, with them for like two weeks straight. Yeah, I actually had him. And honestly, he's solid. Just freaking solid. Then moving to, I think it was Friday because I got paid. So I'm like, yeah, why not? I'm just going to treat myself. Um, decided to look at figures for, you know, the hell of it. And uh, that's when I was saying, you know, oh, my Walmart's only got the way that has World War II Bumblebee and Sideswipe and Barricade. And I think it was Crankcase, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't have anything else. They had the price tag for G1 Soundwave. But do you think they had any? No. So I just, you know, bit the bullet and got sideswipe and barricade since yeah, why not? those are those were repaints of the previous release versions of those characters, right? No, no. both both new. Really? That yep. sideswipe really looks like a was it Dark of the Moon sideswipe? He almost gets that, and that's what this this is actually supposed to represent cuz it's the uh, Corvette with the uh, no roof, but it's Completely Trust new. me, it's way new, and I love this one more. As much as I love the Dark of the Moon version, this one is way, way better. Hmm. So, uh, but yeah, um, when I was talking about MGOs, just transform it. This dude, I cannot get into car mode to car mode to save my life. The uh, the arms obviously form the sides of the car, which like pretty much every barricade is done yeah. so far. So. Uh, so there's a couple pegs on the inside right near his elbows and they peg into pretty much right on his thighs in car mode and I just cannot get those lined up just to save me. It is... So I you just, can get it roughly in the shape but then like that final crunch just can't get it to happen? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. So, I mean, I still love the look of this. It's really spot on. It actually really reminds me of the Masterpiece. So it's scaled down and, you know, Last paint, but I, eh. so, um, yeah. Then, 
the last Studio Series figure I actually got today, uh, as Avengers Endgame came out today, which I got and actually watched. Still a great movie. Um, mm-hmm. But I decided to look at the Transformers figures. They only had one new. I think they still had like three Studio Series uh, Bone Crusher. I'm just like, okay, why? So the only one new, <laughs> which I'm kind of glad I got because I missed out on the original, was uh, KSI Boss. With the original being Nitro Zeus. This thing is fun. Really, really, really fun. fun. It is. And that seems like and a much better deco. It is. The paint so, makes it better. So was that at a Target? Yep. So the reason that was there is because someone took the long haul. Yeah. Not to bum you out, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much a good catch up on Studio Series. Um, yeah, still lot. working on a. The head, the head comes off that guy, right? Yep. I just never oh. actually played with him. Because it's supposed <laughs> to. The original. Uh, Nitro Zeus is supposed to. Uh, in the movie. Spoilers. I mean, if you haven't seen last night, then something's wrong. Anyways, um, there was a deleted. Like terrible movies. <laughs> um, True. There was a scene to where. I think Nitro got decapitated, and then Cogman comes along. And it's like, oh, I got a new body because Cogman is like a headmaster. So he yeah. was supposed to be Cogman. He could do a, you know, the movie mm. scene with the toys, and well, yeah, it's a plus if I get Cogman. So then you have the final thing I want to touch on quick. This is possibly my favorite pickup the of the past couple of weeks. I've been keeping an eye on the price because I did not want to pay $50 for this, and uh, I've got a feeling a lot of people are now starting to see what I'm talking about because did, they did see my post, hopefully. I finally managed to get the reissued G1 Prime for way less than 50 I actually got him for 25 So uh He comes with two guns? Yeah. Nice. Um, one wow. of them... Yeah, I want the, blo- the bloated gun and the non-bloated gun. Yeah, I want to mm-hmm. say this one was the original. The skinny one was the original, and then this one is, I think, more tune accurate. And one of them does come with a longer handle, so it kind of holds it more uh, naturally rather than pointed gun, and he has to hold it, you know, pointed to the side. And it actually helps a lot. So, yeah, I think uh, I've seen a lot of people saying that. They saw those going on steep clearance. I remember, I think Rodimus went on pretty steep clearance, like even online at Walmart. Hot Rod went down to 7 bucks near me, and I actually have my second <laughs> one up there. I actually got a second one so I can flip them inside the box and display them, you know, how you should have been. Yeah. <laughs> then I think Starscream, I think the lowest he got down to, I want to say, was 13 or 15 And then Devastator, he... I saw him once and I never seen him again, which I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to get that one first. But friend friend of mine hooked me up with a whole pile of Rodimuses for like five bucks that he found in Florida. <laughs> and so those are those are PF con fodder. So. Nice. <laughs> I had the Devastator reissue because I was curious about it to have you know a nice minty one. And after I opened it and was just comparing it to my vintage, it was just too different. I was like it. It, maybe if I wasn't as familiar with the vintage one, you know, having you know not grown up with it, very nostalgic for it, and having a G1 in my collection for so long, that maybe I wouldn't have noticed. But like, as soon as I you know like pull it out, I was just like, oh, this is this plastic is just like feels like almost translucent compared to the original. I don't know what's different about it other than it's very different. There, there's made. lots. Of, there's lots of real differences with yeah. that one. If you want to, oh, yeah. if you want to like a reissue Devastator, get the Encore. Because it's not even, not even expensive. Got it. And that one's under like the original. Bucks. Yeah, but there are two versions of the Encore one. There's one where like Devastator has a different head sculpt. Did they yeah, try to I make think a I cartoon heard accurate that. sculpt yeah. or something. It's like Encore twenty, and then there's twenty A, which is supposed to mean like animation. But there's heart. There's not a lot of difference. Got it. So that's my daddy. Yeah, the only uh, G one Devastator I really have is like a KO that I found at. Uh, Gordman's for like five bucks, and the only thing it can do is combine like the Revenge of the Fallen, the original one. You can't even do it into the individual robot modes because everything's just stuck in one spot. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool. Does anybody have anything else they want to toss in? If not, we'll wrap uh, it up. 
Uh, really quickly oh, because it's not Transformers, so I didn't bring it up in my original one. But I ended up picking up the little Beast Box Sakura. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I got buddy. I, I got that. this Amber. There we go. Oh no, they're so cute! <laughs> I love the parrot. Oh, the parrot one's adorable. I used that. Talked about that in last week's episode. Oh, there you parrot. go. Cool. Are, is your head? Is your little ball jointy heady a little loose? Yeah. Little On bit. your okay. Mine I is mean, like super loose. I got this uh, little gal when it released, and mm-hmm. I've fiddled it a whole bunch of times back and forth, and I've noticed that. You know, they got the tiny little raptor claws, mm-hmm. and mine has cracked on the pink. Like, it's still fine, Oh. but I've noticed that. And, you know, it's translucent plastic plus, you know, early wave. You know, it mm-hmm. was the first one in the series they did. I suspect they're still figuring some things out. So I get the feeling this one might be a little bit more brittle. The rest I haven't noticed any issues with. Yeah, I mean, this one is, like, like she's just so... Yeah. wobbly like sometimes she sticks like right there but then yeah. she's so wobbly so yeah. and that was like right out of the box that she was like super wobbly yeah. so i i don't know if this was their first wave of it i mean i know that she's got like a she's a repaint of the other ones so yeah. the parrot one really interests me i like the the uh penguins the penguins look cute too so i may the end up picking those cool. ones up um they're magnets oh so they're magnetized so they like uh-huh. stick together um i mean they do peg into each other a little as well um, they have cute, like you can scroll this under their chin and they'll get different eye effects. Like they'll squint or look mad or he's angry and crap. Um, Just what I want really to see adorable. is a robot penguin, you know, getting pissed at me for <laughs> <laughs> looking at him funny. So pretend there's a world where I don't know what those are. Okay. What would you say? I would say listen to last week's Out to My Wallet, Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> I was pretty sure I did, but... <laughs> Um, these are made by 52 Toys. Uh, they're on Big Bad Toy Store. They're about 20, 25 bucks a pop. Um, they're just various animals that transform into squares. Yes. Um, and they come with little boxes that they hold them in as well. Um, I don't have one here, but they're just clear plastic, tra- clear translucent plastic. You know, they because they're a beast box, so it's a box. You open the box up, slide out your beast. Um, mm-hmm. The parrot is funny because he comes with an accessory that's a blue bar that plugs into the side of those. And oh. then he has pegs in his feet so he can latch onto it and carry him around, you know, to that's do cute. parrot things. That's um, cute. And I realized the other day you can make him do like this. He's telling a secret. Aww. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. I love um, everything about them. I don't know. I saw one of my friends that isn't even a Transformer. She got one of these. And I immediately was like, I need one. Where do you get one? And then my friends were like, this is where you get one. Also, look at these ones and look at these ones and look at and parrots and penguins. And I'm just like, stop. I hate all of you. Yeah, so. they got the dino, gorilla, mammoth, rhino, um, hippopotamus, penguin, mm. parrot. And I can't remember what this one is. It's like a, I don't know. I think this one is just kind of like some sort of cross between a rhino and a mammoth thing or something. I don't know. It's it's, it's a beast. That's what it is. Yeah. Maybe it's an actual it's animal. Somebody that knows what the hell they're talking about can tell me. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, and then they started doing humans as well, which this is the other one I talked about last week. It's, just, it's a little ninja. Oh, he's interesting. Yep. And the, the soccer is probably the only one I'm going to pick up from that line. But they, they definitely are cute, and they're totally worth it. And I mean, I bought mine off Amiyami, and it got here super fast, yep. surprisingly enough, which is good. But that's, yeah, that's it. I got one more thing that yes, just showed up today that I kind of forgot I ordered, but it's these arcade renegade bot bots. Yay! <laughs> and so what I didn't know is, that, like, these are packed. There's, like, f- six different packs of these. And there's only one that like has a toy that you can only get in the pack, and it's in one of these blind things. And I didn't get the one <laughs> that has that because you can't uh, like, specify. So bummer, but I'll open. Buy the case. Why well, know. How would you buy a case of it? I got well. I guess to get why not one of the six that you need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just confusing. These bop stuff is confusing to me. So and just uh. 
note about bot bots if you're into bot bots uh one of our cast members christian russell has a bot bots trading group i'm sure if you ask in our uh, tflp um group if you're interested in that about where is that if you can't find it by searching bot-bot. ask there and christian will tell you about it. he he loves bot bots it's all about it and that was i think that's an amazon exclusive that uh, arcade renegades like 15 pack so wow so you can't just you can't just like as a wholesaler go and be like give me the whole case or anything since this is all through amazon only as, as far as i know i don't got it i don't know Good. i mean you I, could I, just I you just buy like 20 of them and then pretend it's a case <laughs> yeah hope that you got them all <laughs> uh. Good luck with all those duplicates, though. Yeah, I, I love doing neurotic things like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's going to wrap us for today. Uh, if you love what we do, make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com uh, TFYLP. Um, you know, we broadcast live on YouTube, all of our videos are on YouTube, but we also are publishing all the audio at, you know, your favorite podcast place. You know, we're on iTunes, Google Play, recently Spotify there's one you like that we're not on let us know and uh we'll get resolving that um and make sure to check us out at tftalk.net and you know we're on facebook and we got i don't know instagram twitter all the social stuffs you know where to find us um but yeah that's it so thanks for listening and we will see you in the next show bye peace